we have always been members of the Jewish community. We were in on the founding of that. Again, because we had children. And the first thing that started the JCA was a Sunday school. Not a, oh, you, you, you weren't supposed to mention God and you weren't supposed to mention anything religious, but we had to give our children some sort of education. And of course, then it grew into you know a full-fledged, full-blooded Jewish community. But the beginnings were very different. So how has the Jewish community in Emmerich changed over time as you've been here? You know, the sad thing is I don't really feel part of it. <laughs> I don't really feel part of it. Uh, of course, my generation is no longer really part of it. It's all new people. But there were, okay, I, here I'm, I'm a sunny, bright person. There were negatives because I was raising a child with special needs. And that was not a generation that really understood, and nobody understood. I mean, he was a bright kid, and nobody understood in school. He had wonderful teachers, but nobody really knew what to do with him. And um, I didn't feel that he was accepted in the Jewish community. It was not easy raising a kid in an academic community and a Jewish community where children's achievements are so important. And this was my first child. I would say that it put some distance. It really, and yet I have very dear friends, you know, but um, it put some distance. When I retired, I thought that I would volunteer, and the first thing I thought of was the Jewish community. I figured that's good, and I felt like a fish out of water. I wrote their manual for their kosher kitchen. You would love that. You would just love that. They had a kosher kitchen, and, and for the first time, and they wanted directions for it. Well, you know, a librarian does that kind of thing very well. So I said I would write the manual. And I went and followed the person around who was introducing people to the kosher kitchen. And I, I arranged things. I don't know if they still have the manual or not. I didn't do it like a library thing. I did it like a very pragmatic thing. We had individual pages, you know, and um, dishes and washing dishes were W. And, and, I, and it was very, very easy to get at. I thought that was pretty funny, though. But I, I didn't, that was already a different generation from the one that I got. And I never really felt connected. The woman who ran the volunteer committee is just adorable. And she's a warm, you know, very, very warm Jewish affect. And when I said I wasn't going to volunteer anymore, she said, why? And I, we talked about it. We talked about it. But I never did. I never did do any more volunteer work. And I didn't do any volunteer work anyway because I got cancer. And that was, that was, that was the, the, the next big achievement. That was a year after I retired. And I've been very fortunate. So, um, so we're members. We're paying members. And um, we were high holiday Jews <laughs> for the most part, for the most part. And the children never really connected, I don't think. So, you know, that's sort of odd.